Hello students, the next concept we are going to see in lesson number 2 is quantum numbers. Okay, well? okay. very simple ma'am. If you have in your house in Trichandur or in some other place, how we will say your address, door number, then street number, then village, then city, then district. Isn't it? Yes. Likewise, to specify the position of electron in an atom. One electron is one atom that is in the place. So that electron is characterized by using a set of numbers called quantum numbers. To characterize an electron, quantum numbers are developed. Okay, well? There are four different quantum numbers we have. Those quantum numbers are first one principal quantum number, second one asymmetrical quantum number, third one magnetic quantum number and fourth one spin quantum number. So these are the various quantum numbers and this is the very 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 important question. Okay. Without the knowledge of quantum numbers we cannot study any topics in chemistry. So listen very carefully. Okay, principal quantum number, asymmetrical quantum number, magnetic quantum number, and finally spin quantum number. Let us see the quantum numbers one by one. Quantum numbers and their applications. Okay, well? okay. First, principal quantum number. The principal quantum number, its symbol, it is denoted by the symbol N. Okay, well? okay. And this principal quantum number is mainly used to represent the energy level energy level nalo orbit nalo circular path nalo same okay it is mainly used to represent the energy level in which an electron is present or electron first orbit like the first era first orbit nalo okay the first energy level or first shell everything is same okay well? so this principal quantum number is used to represent the place where the electron is present Okay, the energy level in which the electron is present or the shell in which the electron is present or the orbit, orbit in which the electron is present. It is denoted by the symbol what? N. Okay, and the N value may vary from uh, 1 to a number. Okay, 1, 2, 3. 1 means we can say first shell. 2 means we can say second shell. 3 means we can say third shell. 4 means we can say fourth shell and so on. Also, the cells are designated by various symbols. First shell means, the first energy level means that is K shell. Second energy level means L shell. Third energy level means M shell. Fourth means N and so on. Okay. So, from principal quantum number, we can find out the orbit in which the electron is present. Okay. Well, okay. Then, for every orbit, over orbit, you know, there should be a maximum number of electrons. The electrons are the So that formula, that number can be found using the formula 2n square. Okay, well, let us take first orbit. In first orbit, what is the value of n? n will be 1. So 2 into 1 square, which means 2 into 1, that is equal to 2. If you take second orbit, means n value will be 2. So we can write 2 into 2 square. So 2 square means 4, then 4 to start 8. Then third orbit na n value 3. So 2 into 3 square, 3 is 9, 9 into 2, 18. Likewise, we can find out the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in an orbit using the formula 2n square. Okay, here n is the orbit number. Okay, Mama, this is very very important. Now, over orbit, electrons rather, we can find using the formula 2n square. And from this n value, we can find out the radius and the energy. These were already explained by Niels Bohr atomic model. Here also n is there, here also n is there. Okay, so these are the informations about the principal quantum number. The principal quantum number, the value of n is mainly used to represent the energy level or the shell or an orbit in which the electron is present. Okay, and n value, n, n may have the value starting from 1 to a numbers. Okay, first shell means, first energy level means k shell and so on. Then the maximum number of electrons in an orbit is given by the formula 2n square. Then for various orbits we have found the maximum number of electrons. Then the radius and the energies of electrons can be found by using the principal quantum number. 
okay mama okay so these are the information about principal quantum number then we can see about the second quantum number that is called azimuthal quantum number it is either called as azimuthal or also called as subsidiary quantum number let us see about it azimuthal quantum number what is the symbol for azimuthal it is denoted by the symbol l okay mama when we study about principal quantum number that was telling us about the orbit whereas the azimuthal quantum number is telling us about the orbital orbitals are it is called as subshell the subshell in which the electron is present can be studied using the azimuthal quantum number okay ma okay, here what is the symbol l is the symbol for azimuthal quantum number okay mama okay and for a given orbit or energy level ku etana l value irukku nu paatha appadina for a given value of n the l value can vary from 0 to n minus 1 it's very very important one the value of l is varying from 0 to n minus 1 okay mama okay if l value is equal to 0 means that is s orbital if l value is equal to 1 means that is p orbital then when it is 2 it is v orbital if it is 3 then it is f orbital so based on the l value we can have different orbitals s orbital p orbital b and f orbitals let us take first orbit first orbit la enna enna orbitals irukku abinga paakalam okay if we take first orbit means what is the value of n n is equal to 1 what point i have given you for a given value of n the l value ranging from 0 to n minus 1 so surely what will be there 0 will be there n minus 1 substitute 1 here 1 minus 1 na 0 so only 0 is possible 0 be na what are which are s are which are so in the first orbit only one s are which are will be there. okay mama okay if we take second orbit in the second orbit the n is equal to 2 Okay, what? Then zero surely will be there. Two means two minus one, one. So zero and one. Zero means s orbital. One means p orbital. So in the second orbit there are two orbitals. One is two s and the one more is two p. If we take third orbit means n value is equal to three. So three na zero surely will be there. Three minus one na two one. So zero comma one comma two. Zero le in the n minus one. So zero means s orbital, one means p orbital, two means b orbital. So we can write in the third orbit the orbitals are three s, three p, three d. Likewise, we can find out the orbitals present in an orbit for any orbit. In the other orbit, how many orbitals are there? Because we can easily find out using the value of l. Okay, mama. Okay. Is there any doubt? No. Okay, ma. And the number of electrons in the subshells. Over the subshell, you know. Evlo electrons are there. They also can be found using this L value. For that, we have another formula that is two into two L plus one. By using this formula, we can find out the maximum number of electrons in every orbital. Okay, ma. Let us take S orbital. S orbital. What is the value of L? Zero, ma. So substitute here zero. So two into zero plus one, which means two. So in S orbital, the maximum number of electrons will be two. In the S orbital, layo only two electrons can present. Okay, ma. Let us take P orbital. In the case of P orbital, the L value one, ma. So substitute here one. Two into one, ma. Two. Two plus one, three. Three to zero. Six. So in the P orbital, the maximum number of electrons will be six. Six के माले एक इलेक्ट्रॉन्स पड़ों दिया गया। In the P orbital, we cannot fill any more electrons in the P orbital. Then P orbital के L value two. 